Hey kids, welcome to Stylus Rumble. Quick tip, today we're just going to talk about the cutter. I have some videos about the cutter as a general rule, but I just want to talk real quick about the ultra basics and how to cause yourself less stress. Because I know the first 543,000 times I used the cutter, it was really aggravating. So the new cutter has this little masky thing, but in 15, it works exactly the same as your 14 one does. The real super secret though to the cutter is this little dot, okay? This little dot is where you put the thing that you want to see. So in this case, I've got a little moon here. You can tell by the grayness of it. And I'm gonna put that into the thing I wanna see because I wanna see the moon. And I've got this cutter here. I'm gonna plug that into the little mask thing. So the new one, a little bit easier to remember. The old one doesn't have this little mask face, but it's still got this little dot. The little dot's what you wanna see. It's a picture of a dot. And then your moon will just slide in and out your cutter or whatever. So conversely, if you have something that you want to see only when it's being cut by something, let's say we've got our little crescent moon, or it's like just starting to get cut up here, and we have a little batty bat, because it's all Halloween themed, and we only want to see the bat, calm down there, bat, only want to see the bat when it's in front of the moon. Right now, if we, we put our bat in the little dot, because it's the one we want to see, if we put our moon there, then the moon is going to cut the bat. So what I'm going to do is inverse that to inverse your mat, because I obviously forgot to include that. You can double click on your little mask here, boop, 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 boop. Or you can open up your options box and click inverted. In 14, you don't have your little mask, so you have to go in here. But this little feature is super handy, and it's so fast that I totally forgot that I was supposed to tell you guys. So now it's saying that we only want to see the bat when it's in front of the moon. But here, if we want the bat only to be seen by the visible moon, we can use this below our cutter here, plug it in, and now our bat's only visible by the visible moon. You can stack cutters like this all day long, and it's going to do everything you need to get your batty bat animation ready for Halloween. Whee! Boop. Now there's one little thing that's kind of cool about the new version, the 15 version of the cutter. I'm able to take the moon here, we can cut out this middle man and we can plug it right into a mat space that the batty bat has right here. The only downside is make a second bat, plug him into the image side and plug that in here. So <laughs> this bat is being cut by the cutter and it's got a little white mask on a black background and it's being cut. This one on the drawing itself has a little white mask and a black background, but it's being, it's, it's only visible on top. So e the black mask on this is the reverse of this. That's an important little note <laughs> because Harmony, we don't know why they do these things, but keep in mind, if you're gonna be plugging directly into your drawing, this picture is backwards compared to the cutter itself. Thanks for dropping by. If there's any other little quick bits you want to hear about, let me know in the comments down below. Like, share, subscribe, all those things internet people ask you to do, and I will see you next time.